You got rolls? So Laura, who's, uh, who's running this show? Oh, you. So um, <laughs> it's 8.06 and uh, the uh, Public Arts Commission, uh, Green Bay Public Arts Commission is commencing. And uh, roll call. Just everybody call out their names. Randy Scannell, City Alder, present and accounted for. Matthew Cannon, present. Alex Zacharias. Stacy Tiffany Bowles. Lee Clemens. And Laura Schley. I'm here. Celestine Jeffries. Thank you. And uh, so today we're going to be deciding on the uh, sculpture for WPS. And um, I guess we should begin by just Lauren, were there any kind of uh, final numbers or anything that, you know, yeah. tabulations you can start um, working with? In your massive packet for this one. Do you need it for the agenda next? Yeah. Oh, yes. This one has Do we, uh, motion. Yeah, go ahead. Motion to approve the agenda. Second. All those in favor? Aye. All those against? All right. Minute. Uh, motion approved. Minute. Motion approved. Second. All right. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those against? All right. Motion to approve the seconds. <laughs> All right. Uh, first thing on the agenda, uh, we've got it. We're going to go right into the WPS. Yep. So, any comments from anybody, or she just wanted to take a minute to look at? Yeah. yeah. So. We had 10, ten. applicants total, um, but it came out to 12 because we had three from one applicant. Um, 10 applicants total uh, that submitted complete applications for the project. Um, based off of your guys' initial scores, which you can find in your um, packet, it was all very close. Um, there's a little graph, I don't know if you guys have that. Um, they're all quite close. Um, and then if you look at the average community score uh, graph, what that means, um, that was that first question in the reviewing sheet that basically was like, what do you think the community's opinion is going to be on this? So it's not actually the community's opinion, but it's kind of what we speculate they would think of these sculptures. So that's kind of the range that we have for those. Um. So should, um, in this process, should we go, you want to go just through one through 10 and give our opinion or how, how do we want to, or do we select the top? Top three, yeah. The top three and start The goal of the day is to select the top so, based off of the scores, I mean, it's <coughs> quite close, um, but I figured from our discussion today, um, yeah, you're going to figure more stuff out. Um, I know it's going to be tough <laughs> to whittle it down, but um, I guess starting off, um, if you guys want to like say your top three choices, mm -hmm. see if any of them line up, and then we can discuss those, whether or not we feel those should be the top three, um, or if we think there are any other applicants that we're like, no, like I really want to consider this one, or we didn't think about this option. Because I think there is some wiggle room with some of the applicants. If we don't like what they've presented, we can have the opportunity, I feel, to um, respond back to them and be like, hey, like, we're interested, but is there any way we can change up this part or something? Yeah. Um, so I think that's kind of what I'm hoping from the discussion today is figuring, definitely got to figure out the top three. <laughs> so it's got, so there's one through ten. Um, the first one with the community average, is that what we're going to be 
looking at mostly is our final community average points or which one's a stronger number to well I think I think those are just to help us decide what we want our top three to be all those numbers are just to look at what how everybody scored and and gives us a pretty good idea that we pretty much all scored the same and we're all pretty much scored everybody pretty high mm -hmm. so now it comes down to just which ones how, you the notes we would have made or how we feel about them so I think if we just pick our top three okay. and see where we all stand maybe we all have the same top three or yeah. you know once we get the everybody's top three out we can look at those specific ones if there's more than three and narrow it down to just three all right through so, a discussion so um, let's see would it be number two electrified willow as one of them well pick what what, what are your top three do oh. you have top three no i would rather go through this row well do i have a top three um put me on the spot well i'll, I'll pick out my top three go ahead okay uh i'll just go through uh embark and then what's the ship right yeah well embark is the sa is Ken's oh. one and then there's the one I've just I'm just sorry which one is in Burke? Is it, is it the silver the yeah. stainless steel kind of mobile yep, one, yep. or is it the no no that's the embark is a mobile but one it was Kent's right yep. okay okay and then uh, the one I forgot what I was just I don't remember the name but it's the one with the the ship and the, uh, the statue of the sailor with the lantern yeah okay which is my top one actually was that the beak, uh, what was that? Yeah. beacon no. the beacon, beacon. Correct. beacon wasn't it beacon? Two. no Oh, there's two beacons. Yeah. Oh, that's so number seven, right? That's confusing. Number seven, I think. Yeah, I think it was okay. number seven. And then um, the tree that we were also considering for the rotating arc. Uh, I'm yeah. not sure what the that. Oh, electrified willow. Electrified willow. Thank you. Those are my top three. Yeah, okay. Two. Coincidentally, those are also my top three. Ha <laughs> Okay. They're also my top three, actually. Also, based off of the scoring percentages, um, those are the top three. Top three. Oh, okay. <laughs> well. Okay. okay. Do you want to throw in a, a, any difference, uh, Alex? Or uh? Uh, no, actually, those are those are my top three as well. Well, th there was oh. another one. Uh, <laughs> Good night. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Excuse me. What were the three that we said? The uh, the Embark, the, the uh, Sail Mobile okay. one. Uh, Beacon, the, the one with the. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, the tree that glitters. Remember, we, we looked at that for a rotating art project. Well, it Which one is that, that would number wise? Uh, two. Two. Two okay. electrified wheel. Okay. Now you're in my ballpark, too, and that's just a gut reaction. Uh, I know I'm not voting, but the yeah, well, yeah, I, I would have that. included the, the, the box, how oh, the box went in. I like this the sculpture very, very much too. But those are my top. Yeah, I like that box one as well. Are you gonna break it? Or are you gonna have a different? I have a different one. Okay. 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 What is it? I am, and for a reason, I liked it. Is lift off? Lift off. Okay, the bat on so a bike. Oh yeah. The what? Yeah. Bat on a bike. I, oh, there's uh -huh. something nice about that one too, but yeah, yeah. It does, doesn't fit something like Yeah, I was kind of batty about that one. <laughs> Just it's a good make it fun. Yeah, and it has the reason why I liked it is the thought of WPS, the staff, and the opportunity of going up and oh. moving Green Bay into a different direction. So, and it's I, I'm not a fan of. There's a lot of boats and trees. So mm -hmm. Yeah, the tree. Uh -huh. The thing came up quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's kind of a gut reaction, right? Mm -hmm. And that's, I mean, that, and that's kind of item number one. When we look at the scoring, and I, I agree that it was important that we moved away from that. That's just kind of a screening mechanism. Yeah. When you do multivariate analysis, you have to say, are they independent variables that, you know, something like can they produce the art? It may not have a as much a weighting thing. So we're kind of going by, a, you know, a gut weighting of one through fours, and I, when I was looking at this, it's, you know, there's my top three, and mm -hmm. there's other reasons for debate, and I think that's kind of what the, <coughs> the purpose of this committee is, should that, that go, mm -hmm. but it is interesting that we've come pretty darn close to a couple, two of these things were... I'm sorry, what were, what were, uh... The, uh... What were yours? Oh. Like lift off. Lift off, and what else? That was, I don't remember the other one. That was the one that really stuck up with. That was the one that really stood out. Yeah, I have it on the list. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just, I'm old. So. 
Well, one, that, yeah. <laughs> the one that didn't catch me was, I'm sorry, was the nautical on the ship. It, mm -hmm. it just seemed, um, for me, it seemed out of place, uh, or just didn't, my vision didn't. The, the one that's beacon with the, right. the sailor and the right. Right. You should When you talk about them, you should probably either refer to them by name or by yeah. number. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. So that was number seven. Right. Um, so my strongest was uh, actually uh, Kent's was for me number one. And which one was that? That was um, Embark. Embark. Number okay. three. Number three. Okay. But we are we we're just are we gonna pick the top one or are we just picking the top three, three, three today? Because yeah. So we okay. <coughs> Unless we want to reconsider and. Uh, we already got three. Unless we want to kick around the the bad idea or some other one. Was Embark in everyone's top three? I think so. Okay, so we've got one of our three figured out. Okay, and then number two would would have been uh, the was it uh, electrified or uh, number two was that. Oh, why thank you. It looks like Electrify was number was up there in, in number as well. I really liked it because it, it was one of the pieces that filled the space the best, in my opinion. It was tall, it was large, it really was very eye-catching with the sparkling. Um, I know it's a tree, and sometimes it's like oh, another tree, yeah. but I, I think it's definitely more special than just another tree piece. Um, that's why I was in my top three. And for me, I, I, I get the, that, uh, I mean, one of, one of the things I thought of was also, what do I think would be most receptive by the public? And yeah. I think our public is not quite as adventurous <coughs> as we would like at this point. And, uh, but I think we can get them there. But I think if we start with some of the projects, big projects that will resonate more with the public, we'll get them more on board. And I think, Something like they were a port city, so a nautical theme or a tree. They're they're very you know they they recognize those things and I think those things resonate more with them. Uh, so that that went a little bit into factoring what I what I chose why I chose. Um, uh, I don't really don't have much more to say about the three. I mean, uh, I think if. Unless we really want to seriously consider a different one, we've got our three. I mean, it doesn't matter what order they are. I guess as far as interaction, because that is one of the yep. goals, well not goals, but one of the highlights of this piece. Um, I agree, I like the three that were, three, four that were kind of hovering around. Um, but as far as like interactivity, I think the one that really stood out was uh, number four, interactive sound and lights. Is that the, the skinny yep. one? Mm. It's the kind of mm -hmm. and then it shines in the filter, but yeah. it has lights coming from yeah. the building and there's sound included yeah. in it. Um, I will really visually, I'm not super jazzed yeah, about the sculpture yeah. itself, but I feel like if it could change or something I think people would really get into like the sound and the lights and kind of triggering it and becoming part of it. I strongly support what you said I think that the interactiveness is a huge part to the likability and that's those were the two factors I really looked at when I when I um, was going through this process but I have to agree it almost looks like a traffic signal to me a very nice one I think once the the public discover it can do that I think they're gonna love playing in it like Kind of a, a have a childlike feel to it with the fountain downtown, but I don't. I think visually these other ones are going to draw in more. So I like the idea that they could change it. Is that something they can make that change that quickly? Do you think? Because I think it would need a more visual. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I would have to reach out to him and see. Ooh. But I, I know I kind of <laughs> almost wish. I kind of that almost wished a couple of these sculptures could have merged together. Like for instance, the tree with the effects of that you're talking about for the sound. Oh, that's so neat. <laughs> yeah, I love the playfulness of that one, mm -hmm. um, which is, I think, really important. It just, it doesn't fill the space very well. Yeah. It's small, 
and it does look like a traffic signal. And if one of the goals is for it to be photogenic, you want people to take photos with it. I don't know if people are going to be taking photos with that. Uh, what I was also, um, as far as interactivity, is uh, that um, just what would the effect of a breeze on that item, you know, like for instance, the electric uh, willow, um, it seems like it would be constantly in motion because of that. And perhaps, I believe the um, Embark as well, I think it has that potential. Uh, so that's what I like that it, it sort of uh, fits in with the environment um, in that aspect. With Embark, I like the, uh, the idea of uh, the lighting uh, imitating water. I think that, that would be very interactive. I could see, I could see myself playing in the water, <laughs> the light water, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so, and we have splash pads not too far from there too. So I think, you know, that all works kind of cool. And uh, <clears throat> with uh, Beacon, uh, one thing I also kind of like is you have the, the sailor holding up the lantern and he's facing the boat, but he's also facing showing the light to the other sculptures on Cherokee in Washington. So it kind of leads one in that direction a little bit, I think. <coughs> And I can see a lot of people taking photos of themselves yeah. with the sailor, you know, and everything. So, one of the only things that kind of made me hesitate a bit with the beacon with the ship, um, it's got a bench inside of it, which I think is kind of nice. Yet at the same time, I don't know how much they're going to be covered up with that exterior of the ship. I don't. There's something that's a little unsettling of people hiding out inside yeah. the ship. I'm worried about scale. scale. <laughs> no, it's in scale that you see through. Yeah, the you can yeah. see. I'm worried through. about graffiti and other deviant challenges. I guess for yeah, that, I mean, but I, mean, I like it. It, it almost invites people climbing up on top of it too, mm -hmm. which or the, yeah, you climb up the mm -hmm. those little things and that potentially break the ribs. Yeah, the ribs. Yeah. Unless it was intentionally made for that, for to be climbed on. Mm -hmm. That makes it interactive, and that <laughs> yeah, it does. In that. I just don't want anyone falling off and breaking their skull. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Yeah. Uh, so just with, because I looked at these as well, just with the beacon too. My concern was the brick background. So mm -hmm. you know, looking for a photogenic aspect, like, because we'll have the brick background in all of them, right? But then just the ship coming out of brick just didn't, I don't know. Just the materials clash? Yeah, it just didn't make sense to me. I mean, I, I looked at that, like that was one I was like looking at, looking at, thinking about, thinking about. But the ship coming out of brick didn't make any sense. It didn't make sense to her. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. But if it was against a different building, or this would be great if it was on the city deck or a different exactly. placement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it didn't make sense for this particular building. Yeah, yeah. And with city deck would be a much better location. Mm -hmm. yeah, the water. I'm not in love with creepy people statues either. <laughs> no. No. What's the creepy people statue? I like the Packer. People oh, love yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. They take I pictures, know, I know. but. They're all over in Nina, too. Oh, They're yeah. Really I, and that's just everywhere. my own personal preference. I agree with you. <laughs> well, but, <coughs> so, so do we still want to include that as number three, or do you want to pick another third one to consider? <coughs> I still like it, though. I, I, I wouldn't mind keeping it as a number three. I, I, I think I'm, I, I kind of get the bat one, but I think I'm still sticking with my three. The bad one, though, you walk by and you say, what the heck is it? And it's yeah. big and it's up there. It makes you think. Yeah. yeah. There's something very playful about that that's, yeah, you know, even the, the, the embark, it's, it's kind of that effect, but it's almost, you know, a little bit more than, you know, what the hell is that? Yeah. But that just outlines how difficult this is, making a decision and some yeah. stuff, isn't it? Yeah. With the rendering of embark, that immediately caught my eye and thought, oh my gosh, that's really different. And sometimes it's... Not in the bar, it's the bat. The bat, or I'm yeah. sorry, lift off. Lift off, okay. 
Um, and sometimes, yeah, you really just want to push that boundary and do something wild and weird. And those wild and weird pieces, uh, they become a little bit more iconic because they stand out, which but is a good thing. But the people standing in there with the contemplation, that's what kind of made it less weird. I mean, there's something, you know. Yeah, well, I'm not, is that part of the, see, that, and that was a question. Are, the <coughs> are they part of the sculpture, or are they no. just there as a representation? They're just a representation. Yeah. Oh, just yeah. That's a big question, though. Sure. <laughs> because that really just kind of... Right, I, 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 I didn't think that. they were. I, those I wasn't sure, but I okay. didn't think they were. What kind of made me a little nervous um, were, were the photos of the similar pieces that they've done. Um, I just don't know about... I don't want it to look too... Backwood is rusty over time. Um, it just kind of nasty. The weather's not as well, so bad. Nice move. I just don't. I'm not sure if it would weather very well. Yeah, but man, I love that on the light post. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. really cool on the light post. Mm -hmm. How is this one interactive? I don't think it is, except for taking photos. And does it use electricity? I don't think it does. Um, then that's... that's um, takes four. it down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it's... I think that's why I do. Yeah. There is lighting. Um, says, sculpture would contain interactive multicolored LEDs, which would create a beautiful light show at night. Oh, okay. I see. At night, when no one was nearby, the sculpture would appear to glow, emitting muted, subtle, slowly changing colors from within its body and wings, along with light shining upward from the upper surface of the curved pipe. As people approach the sculpture, motion sensors would trigger our software, and dozens of LEDs um, would display an incredible range of changing colors and patterns. I wish we could see that. Can you bring up the other photos of the existing bats, please? Yep. Thank you so much. <coughs> and this one might not be as loved by the public. Right, that's why. I, I really wanted to kind of focus on this is our kind of our big a, big kickoff sort of and we're, I, I wanted something that would resonate with the public not I something that would I think it'd be a love it or hate it kind of yeah piece. yeah well yeah. that's the, that's the luck. yeah <coughs> and that uh, that is rusting with the weathering and sometimes that's okay yeah yeah I don't know if it's okay in our downtown mm. I haven't seen anybody talk about the, the outside the box, the guy. No, we haven't talked about that one. Has that been on any of That the one was a possible another rotating art piece, if I remember right. Okay, because that's, that's a really a neat piece. Yep. When I read his narrative, it kind of gets it's dark, and uh, I think that turns you off. But if you sit back and just look at the pieces, that had a had a wow effect on me, like this one did, too, in terms of yeah. outside the box. It, it looks like WPS. That's one thing is they are outside the box. They're changing, and... Uh, you know, we kind of like the, the, the hero, the, 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 you know, the, the charging guy with his arm up. I, I just think that there's a good, a very strong public thing that uh, I don't have much interaction. And that's where these other things yeah. fall yeah. out. And maybe why Embark did it with the, the, the water. Yeah. I mean, they all have lights and they all can light things up. But right. So, you know, it really kind of depends on, I mean, there's that wow effect, what you think at the first, first blush. And then there's these other criteria that we, we're waiting for airably. Yeah. So, uh, gosh, uh, that's why it's as tough as how much we weight those things and interactive. Yeah. And I think interactive, though, when you're walking down the street, there's still something about it, you know, even la the, the, the Lambo field thing pointing, or people want to touch and sit back and think, what the heck is that, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> though I start to think the, the Hutchinson, you know, the, the, the moving parts of that kind of makes you stand and stop. So we got first blush, what do you think is a good sculpture? Number two, these other dimensions yeah. and and how they sort out. Yeah. So you wanna stick with your three or who would still like to stick with my three? <laughs> Alex? 
Yeah. Um, I'm not enamored with, well, as far as the public, I don't know if everybody, um, as far as uh, the number seven, um, I don't know, we should start eliminating. Uh, we were talking about issues of it uh, not connecting with the building visually, the potential of hazards. Well, I mean, you know, so should we just... Uh, but did you want to replace it with something else then? Because uh, we only need to, we're not going to pick one today, we're just picking yeah, three. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if we have to, <coughs> we have to pick three, or uh, just, mm -hmm. we do. Well, okay, yeah, yeah, that's just, all right, so... Uh, are, you, are you saying three as opposed to four, or three as opposed to two? Is that what your question is, Alex? Right. So we're going to... We need to pick three, because that's what we told people we, okay. we, we yeah. would be doing. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah. So you're saying seven should fall down a little bit because of the interaction with the brick and the, the climbing hazard? Because that's that's been our top three, so that falls down a little bit. So did you want to change your top three to something else? Yeah, I'm having trouble with that. Uh, I need another. I need more arguments here. Sure. Well, I, 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 I'm still fighting for that one. I, okay. It's still going to be in my top three. Okay. Uh, I'm, I definitely have a top Two, the more I think about um, number, what was that, seven, I'm not sure. <laughs> and that's Beacon? Seven? Yeah. yeah. There's things well, I really well, like well, about it, but I just, I about, I'm not quite sure about that location. And yep. if I were to replace it with something, honestly, nothing's really working out. Also, I wanted to mention, sorry, I just forgot to this. Um, this morning, Richard Taylor, applicant number 10, um, actually sent me another message. Oh, um, he was quite open to um, making changes. Making changes. The ones that he did submit, um, he continuously expressed how he was willing to yep. alter it. So, I mean, if there was. Right. But that was also the video that was attached in there, mm -hmm. so it had the kind yeah. of stainless steel structure, and then the lights would kind of. The video was helpful. It's nice. I, didn't even know I couldn't the video. get the yeah. video really? attached oh. to this because oh. it's too large, I so I yes. apologize. Yeah. Um, but he, the one in the bottom right corner, that's the new one that he has suggested as well. But the ones on the top are the ones that he submitted originally. Um, but I know there was some talk. Celsius was talking and Cheryl was talking earlier about like. Do you need some coffee? Uh, <laughs> the Philadelphia love sculpture. Mm -hmm. Super iconic. And mm -hmm. People take photos of it all the time. Um, I think it started out jokingly as saying like, what if we made that structure with GB and then had lights in there? That's actually um, something I know my department really wants to do. A big GB or Green Bay and letters. So light up and be located somewhere. I think here's a challenge, though, of the love sculpture versus GB, right? So the question is, so Philadelphia is a city of brotherly love. So hence, love makes sense. GB, you know, I'm not, I mean, I think that's interesting, but I'm not sure if it's philosophically, thematically, brand-wise central. You know what I mean? So, <coughs> but I mean, I think the GB is interesting, but I, I don't know. That's just my non-important two cents. <laughs> That's not the proposal, though, is yeah. it? And, and you know, as far as picking these, these top three, unless you're going to replace that third one with one that you think is a number one, it really doesn't matter. Because we're going to narrow the three down to one. So unless there's one that you think is really a number one, I mean, it, I, don't know, I don't know if it makes much difference, you know, for today. Well, if I had to replace, uh, for me, the number seven, I'm, the one called emergence one with this with this with the boxes and the in the figure um, I 
I didn't know about the interactivity. That one. That was my right. My hesitation. Right. Mm. At least some of these others move and are a little bit more. That's true. Photogenic. Let's. I mean, it's nice. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I think it's photogenic in the same sense as any of the Packer stuff. It kind of has that kind of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what you have to ask yourself is, how long do you want to stay here arguing over a number three <laughs> spot? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's well, true. you know, but then uh, you know, the number seven, I did include the top three, but it's one of those you either like it or hate it. We've got a couple things that are. You know, I can see kids climbing up the edges of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I, I guess in my own thinking right now, I think I've, I've lowered that because it is that, you know, yes or no, and I'm, I'm, I'm placing, well, it's the bat or this one is, is my, okay. Just um. to be a Debbie Downer, um, <laughs> I know there was some concern expressed. I know we all like number two, Electrified Willow, but I know there was some concern expressed about driving hazards as far as those reflective lights, mm. is that a safety issue that we need to think about? That's pretty slow downtown. It's not like it's Yeah, uh, it, yeah. that area is not, yeah. We almost want and, and, and we're actually trying to move toward a downtown that's less tra uh, oh, uh, vehicular, vehicular really? and more great. bike oh, head yeah. friendly. So, yeah, you know, good. we are trying to move in that direction. Okay. So, and, and it's not that heavily, uh, as far as traffic, it's not. I was going to say, it's not yep, yep, super right. busy, but. People are kind of putsy through there anyway because it is more pedestrian oriented, so I don't know yeah. if that's a major concern. And isn't he in for another, looking for another one of those spots too? I mean, he's got several. He's well, he, news he, media. he also applied for the rotating. But the different piece, yeah. Right? Different piece. Different piece. Yeah. yeah. He's a local artist, which is good nice. Too. I mean, you could also consider not just the piece, but um, you might want to take consideration, do you want to give two of the top three to the same person? That could be a consideration. Mm -hmm. Laura, would you be willing to just kind of zap through yeah. all of them for us? Yep. <laughs> so that refreshing. is helpful. I, this is, that's nice. Yeah, I'm so glad she has this set up. I brought my computer. This is much better. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know how fast you want me to go through them. And then as far as this one, um, Celestine had mentioned that we are going to have to move this one back because it is in the right of way. To, to further the right of way? The right oh of way. Oh my gosh, it's in the streets. Is that right? No, no, no. 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 Sidewalk. Sidewalk. But it goes the over the street? It has to go back you into can, the... You can't be blocking up the sidewalk. Oh, so okay. the right of way is any place where people go or where like snow has to go. So, oh, you know, okay. whoops. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, you know, I don't know precisely where the right of way is here. I mean, Steve would have to, but I'm going to guess there's a couple issues. First of all, it's in this 15 foot vision triangle for people looking. That's why there's no parking at the corner. Mm -hmm. Okay, right? sure. And then I'm going to assume that the right of way ends right about here. Mm -hmm. Oh. But that's, I don't, I don't. Yeah. Well, that'll be a obstacle for any piece. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it can't yeah, no be. What it oh. is. Right, it can't be like there. And <coughs> it, even if it is in the right of way a little bit, that doesn't, that's not a necessarily a major roadblock, just as long as we yeah. maintain five feet of unobstructed. Right. Um, it probably can't be right there. And the so. vision triangle. And the vision so triangle. Right. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can see, but the lights are kind of all along, so down that whole stretch of the building, and then on the other side as oh, well. Oh, okay, okay. So kind of in that little tan. So this one would add another layer of work 
just because we would have to work with that condo association for that building, mm. um, which might be real easy, it might not be. Another consideration is we don't know if that building is going to be there in another 10 or 15 years. Oh. Yeah, there are plans to possibly um, do away with it. That one has some really strong aesthetic value and a very futuristic look so that it won't, you know, I think all generations could appreciate it and at least with the building they put in the back um, and whatever <coughs> might be there might have some nice repetition. Is it? Which corner is this? Is it kind of across from the Children's Museum area? Yeah. Yep. So there, there are already those panels that are similar to that. So you have a very strong repetition element in the neighborhood, at least. So that might be an option to consider this one. Yeah, this one, this one, um, now that I'm thinking about it, I caught my eye as well. I didn't see it very interactive, but I, you know, it looks like a utility or a pipe or plumbing or something like, uh, you know, WPS. It really isn't the water company, but that's kind of what I was saw on it too. Mm -hmm. But that I said it's interesting. That's well, it's not a bad sculpture, but it's like uh, you know, number one too. It's I mean, there's is it a wow effect? No, is it interactive? Not so much. Right. Yeah. My concern with this one is that I think eventually it'd have people climb inside, and if they were not in full Just mind, they might get nervous and get stuck. <laughs> Possible. No, you think that's a disadvantage? <laughs> <laughs> Put your kid in jail. Just <laughs> there's, there's some late <laughs> nights here. So. Yeah. <laughs> it is across from the Children's Museum. There could be an advantage. Well, there's the Children's Museum. I was thinking the adults. I'll be <laughs> back in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever been in Cocos? That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. But I don't know about outside. It's definitely striking. Yeah, I still like it. It's kind of like the bank one, you know, there's the bronzy thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I had lit lights too, right? The lights on the top. Yeah. Yep, yep. And that little man statue would most certainly be in the right of way. Mm -hmm. So that would just be yeah, yeah. another layer of. Yep, yep, you'd have to. And with the vision triangle, I, that would most certainly obstruct. Looks like a good place to have lunch. You just sit up there. And <laughs> I mean, my first instinct was, oh my gosh, if like a sight impaired person were walking, mm -hmm. they just hit their head on that. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking that base is part of it too, so yeah, they'd yeah. be able to catch that. Yeah, but that's actually where the lights um, they go up. Okay, come up from the bottom. But yeah. I know there was some concern. Um, on the notes and stuff that people would sit right on the horizon and structurally I'm sure it's very well built but also people will be you never up know climbing up and oh. that jump up and yeah. hit their head and you know that's kind of what I was thinking. Why can't people just behave? <laughs> <laughs> These are fine, but very low on the interactivity in my mind. I want to play chess. It looks like a chess board, and it looks like more of an indoor something. And yeah. you know that you know I liked it. It's did like that. It's also military esque, and mm -hmm. what's it have to do with Green Bay and WPS? Yeah. Definitely made me think of industry though too, which we got Green Bay is an industrial city, yeah. but yet again, paper yeah, mills so like that's more interactive. Yeah, it it did remind me of a king. I kind of I've had enough of war. <laughs> mm. 
it's silly and different. I, I, and I, I like that it's silly and different. <laughs> and, and you're gonna walk by and see it and think, what the heck? Yeah, it's pretty big too. If you look at those dimensions, it yeah. be sitting on the corner. I look, ooh, is that a bat or what the heck is it? A bird? It's a bicycle. A plane? I think I tend to like it. I just don't know if a lot of other people. I question the rusting over time, and if would people will see that as an eyesore. Yeah. 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 I feel like I've read something, I know I read something from someone about steel and rusting, and I can't remember if it's this one. Oh no, it was, um, I think it was the cogs. Yeah, the clown, the, the one we went before. Yeah, the industrial ones. The industrial one, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. There were so many of them, and it was like... Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And for that one, it kind of makes sense. Sure. Yeah. This is the rust one. <laughs> Devil's advocate, if you were able to get this not rusting, how would you feel about it then? I still would... I'm still sticking with my three. I still... You know, I, I like this one. I liked it when I first went through it. But one of the fact, one of the biggest factors for me is this is a big piece for us. This is a beginning for us, and I really want something that'll resonate with the biggest amount of public we can get. And I don't think this will do it. It's too. So you're saying like five, ten years down the road, we can start getting a little more weird. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think we gotta build our way. Let's kick the can down there. Just look at. I, I think we gotta build our way. I mean. If, if we're five years down the road, okay. I think I think this yeah. is this exciting. Is Bay too. This is this be exciting. This will be a little bit more. This is not the right. New York City. Yeah. Turn <laughs> yep. And you know, let me just add one more thing. So I, uh, the 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 piece that looks like a traffic light. Um, yep. The really interactive, interactive one with the lights and the sound and, 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 and everything. Yeah. Um, number four. Is that number four? Yep. Yes. You know, that would be a great piece underneath um, the, um, once we raise some money, um, underneath the entrance to City Deck. Um, underneath Walnut? Uh, no, sorry. So that... Oh, underneath... Um, underneath the... the Bay Street Bridge? Right. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, sorry. The, sorry, I'm not being very articulate this morning. Um, so... You enter City Deck, on the left is Creamery, oh, on the right is Broken The Breezeway. Smoke. The Breezeway. Oh! This, and it would be an unobstructed, because that has to be clear for fire engines and whatnot. Mm -hmm. That would be yes. a, this would be a wonderful piece right there. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. That makes more sense. Yes. A little protected. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm concerned about it being on the corner, but I think that would be a fabulous piece right you there. Could have it, you could have lights around yes. the whole side. Yep. And that just pop, that'd mm -hmm. be super neat. Mm -hmm. That would be super neat. And I think the owners of that building might be interested in helping invest that. I think so too. And this whimsical, I just see it at somewhere like near Bay Beach or something, you know what I mean? Just to add, oh. you know. And that would make sense at the Wildlife Sanctuary yeah. area. Yes, yeah, that'd be one, a really good you know. spot for that one. It'd be really good there. That'd be really good there. And I will tell you, that there is interest from both the Friends of the Wildlife Sanctuary, more, well this is from Donnie, and you know, Donnie's passing, but from, Donnie is interested in having a nature-based sculpture in that area, so Bay yeah. Beach slash Wildlife Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. So once again, um, and the good, the good thing about the Wildlife Sanctuary in Bay Beach is that they have their own fundraising um, groups. Mm -hmm. So. We can facilitate, but not necessarily pay for it. <laughs> yes, Lee. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's easier. It sounds like it's easier to place these in different areas <laughs> than just to <laughs> make it a <laughs> zero. Mm -hmm. Well, it well back and, and you know that that might that's the kind of neat thing about this mm. is maybe we can yes. take some of these. I mean, we can tell these uh, artists. You know, sorry for this particular. But no, but we are still considering, and hopefully, you know, mm -hmm. we want to work with you and get this piece placed somewhere else. Mm -hmm. so. so that's worth keeping notes of some of these comments. It's helpful to, you know, when you write back to. Mm -hmm. 
I guess, well, we're making a decision on behalf of WPS, and it really started out with sculpture, so sculpture is a bigger thing, and that's kind of why I've just kind of the interactive thing, even though that's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. So what, what sculptures are the... Yeah. Well, I'm sticking with my three. Nothing's changed my mind. So how do we have everybody lining up at this point? Where, where I would we say, this? Randy, you enjoyed number two, Electrified Willow. Yep. Um, number three, Embark. Yep. And number seven, The Beacon. Beacon, yep. Okay. Beacon seven. Yeah, so I, I, I'm, a, I'm comfortable with those three because I know we're going to come down to one. Mm -hmm. For me, it's Electrified Willow, Embark, I'm really having a hard time with that third one, actually. I mean, there's something about the beacon number seven that I, I really like, but I, I really hesitate for the reasons we discussed. I don't really have a third, but I guess for the sake of picking three, I will go with that. One more voice. Uh, I, I would like to say with my original three, I just think that those, when I think of a public reaction, I think those have the strongest. I think you'll have the local people of many different age groups. I try to think ahead to the younger generations that are going to come and see this that are still very young right now. But I especially think about the tourists when they're coming in. I love to be a tourist in other cities and I will absolutely go to those Smithsonian famous sculptures or exhibits. And so um, I really have a heavy weight on that. And I think these three that I initially, so number two, Electrified Willow, three, Embark, and number seven, The Beacon, I think those pull the strongest attraction that way, in my opinion, for, for many reasons, because they're interactive, because of the photo op, I mean, selfies everywhere, right? Um, I do see some dangers included with a few of those, uh, mostly, I guess, just The Beacon, number seven, because I'm afraid of people uh, being uh, unattended on the inside and also now I didn't think about it, but a fall hazard, and and obviously there was this traffic vision concept I had never thought of. But those three I would like to stay with. Okay. Well, question. sounds unanimous. There's a question. Well, yeah. so you're the voting member, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, we appreciate everybody else's input, but you don't get to vote. I'm so. just a double man. We can get in now. The, there's a rail right in that location. That rail is that going to be removed or is that safe? We have some money that we can take that out and bust it up as far as actually doing that. That I'm not as clear of. Maybe Celestine can help with that. What's that? We have some money set aside to, if need be, bust up that concrete yes. and take the railing out and things yes. like that. Yeah. That's why, that's why it's 80, not the full 100. Oh, okay. So we can have a little bit of money for site preparation and money for maintenance, more importantly. Great. Especially if we have to go, you know, site preparation. The artist is supposed to do the site preparation, um, but if it has to be above and beyond what an artist would normally do, um, then that's why we have a little. Well, I make a motion that we uh, choose those three. I will second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? All right. Motion to adjourn. Those are the three. I think we have one. We have oh, do we have one more? Well, informational on the agenda. Oh. And um, let's see. The uh, informational is? Coordinators report on project updates. Just to kind of remind you guys that we are going to be interviewing these three artists next week. So it may be a little bit longer of a meeting. Um, I'm going to be sending out emails to all the artists today to notify them of their status. Um, and then hopefully the three artists can come in and interview with us next week. Yeah. Um, Everyone's local, which is good. Yeah. yeah. Again, could you include in the emails that, the, for the ones that we didn't include, but that, especially the ones we mentioned, that we are interested in their sculpture? And, you know, oh, yeah. Just I'm not going to be like, this was trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I figured you wouldn't do that, <laughs> but... I mean, it's a little extra step to say we're, yes. we're still considering for another spot. Yes. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then, uh, just to clarify. And I wouldn't do that with all of them, just the ones we 
Just to clarify the process, are, are we going to stagger their minimum? Um, yes, absolutely. so they're going to have set kind of interview times. I think I have 45 minutes set aside. Yeah. All at once um, with some mud wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you guys, do you want them to have the opportunity if they wanted to bring in a PowerPoint or something else, additional materials, do you want that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I figured that was That'll help make absolutely. the decision. Um, <clears throat> and then... Just a reminder, that's all in open session. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That video was really helpful. I like being able to kind of look around it more and actually see the lights come on and off. So if anyone can bring video of an exi existing model, okay. that would be really good. Mm -hmm. And then insurance is set for um, Rotating arts. I just signed paperwork yesterday and probably signed some of my life away or something. No, <laughs> um, and Thank you for that contribution. We're working on the contracts. <laughs> WPS contract is going to be finalized by the end of this month, hopefully, which is good because we have our artist next week. Mm -hmm. And rotating arts contracts and those things, those are going to get done in February. Oh, and then one more thing. Uh, Stacy has provided us with the opportunity to attend Arty Gras and yeah. represent. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. Mm -hmm. Arty Gras. So, wow. Well, we have to pay a fee. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was going to ask, is that okay if we do that? Yes. Okay, I figured it was. <laughs> I was making stuff already. Um, and then I'm working on the fundraiser packet. Hopefully, I'll have something for you guys next week. Um, that's about all the information I have. So one last question. So once we've decided um, on the one, or what's the what's the process? They're going to present. Then what? Then we do we reconvene, or do we at, or at that meeting do we make a, mm -hmm. a final decision? Yep. So I figure how the interviews are going to go. We'll have them set up forty five minute increments. They'll kind of come in. I mean, they can. It's open. So right. if they want to sit and listen to other people, heckle. We can't stop them. Right. Um, but I think after their interviews, we'll be like, thank you for the information. Like, we're going to discuss, or like, we have another applicant. If we mm -hmm. have another applicant, but then after they're all done, be like, thank you for the information. Like, we are going to discuss choosing the final applicant. Um, we can't kick them out. Right. Um, you can have executive session to make a decision, right? Or not? Have to, uh, probably a legal Say that again. again? Executive. An executive. To go into a closed session. To make your decision on these. No, it's open? Okay. Yes, it's okay. open. Um, and then I think I was going to create another scoring sheet yeah. for these. For the final three, yep. Mm -hmm. um, and and that same day. Yeah, for that day. Correct. So you can fill it out as you go. Kind of. It'll be more okay. note-based, I think. Because um, things you're going to want to consider then is what's the project deadline? Because we kind of want to get this in over the summer. Is it going to be this summer or is it going to be like a year from now? Um, budget. Are they going to be able to stick to that budget? Is there anything weird with their budget? Um, also just as far as safety concerns. Some might be safer than others. and Then you can kind of gauge that interactivity a little bit more. Um, or even if the artist is open to altering their plans, that could be a factor too. Mm -hmm. And then does um, WPS have any say in this, or are we the that ones? No. Nope. They gave us full yeah. and they trust you okay. guys, so. And so it's <laughs> solely in the, <laughs> solely in the, it's our decision, it doesn't go to council or anything? No, it, okay. once it's here, it's official. So. We got the power. <laughs> <laughs> um, can't think of anything else? Thank you guys for dealing with all my multiple emails. No, no, thank thanks you for, for sending thanks for your work. Thank you. Did a good job. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. It's been a journey. Okay, okay so Alex, do you want to have any uh, information? Uh, no, other than if we're done, I'm going to... Uh, Take a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Great all work, everyone. Right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Right. There is a meeting next week. Thank